Converting Carrier Gas Gas chromatography labs face pressure as helium gas becomes increasingly scarce and prices continue to soar. These financial challenges and uncertainty behind gas supply can be eliminated by replacing helium supply with a peak scientific hydrogen gas generator. Making the switch is usually straightforward and offers the peace of mind of having affordable gas available 24-7 at a controlled cost. But where do you start? Let's go through the key steps required to successfully switch from HE to H2. Start by reviewing your GC methods to check whether your current method can be used with the hydrogen carrier gas. Find a list of common methods using hydrogen carrier here. Using a method translation program, set the linear velocity of carrier gas in your new method to that of your previous method so that all of your compounds elute with the same retention time. You can even reduce the retention time further when switching to H2. You can explore the effect of changing to a narrower or shorter column, which may improve your resolution and retention time. There are some considerations to take into account when switching to hydrogen. It's advisable to use new stainless steel or lab-grade copper tubing to prevent contamination of your GC system. For GC MS analysis, it's also essential to ensure your vacuum pump will maintain efficiency when using hydrogen. Most modern GC MS systems will have pumps that are suitable for hydrogen, but check with your supplier. Finally, it's time to restart your analysis. It is possible to use the same column as before, but if you do change to a new column, ensure you condition it according to guidelines at the advised elevated temperature when using H2. This will help remove any residual contaminants. If you are using GC, having taken these steps, you should be able to begin analysis with H2 carrier gas. For GCMS users, there are a couple of extra steps that will improve your first results. Once the column is installed, it is also advisable to bake out the GCMS ion source. Follow guidelines from your manufacturer regarding how to reduce initial background that can be seen when using H2 carrier gas. Follow the link for the PowerPoint on resource space. After baking out the ion source, you'll notice the background MSD signal dropping over time. Once the background levels are consistent, you are good to go. So why switch to a hydrogen generator? Use a high quality hydrogen generator and you'll have consistent high purity hydrogen. It's a safer option for your lab thanks to built-in technology with automated safety shutdown. It also means faster sample analysis when using hydrogen. You'll be assured your gas supply will be available 24-7. Contact us now at peakscientific.com.